case, I got some people hot about that goddess belt. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I thought that I, you know, I really thought that I broke it down simple enough for people to understand, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, by some of the comments that I got about it, obviously, you know, there's certain things that I didn't uh, make simple enough, you know what I mean? But anyway... When I said that God represents the all in all and is all encompassing, then that also means that a woman is encompassed within the parameters, which are really no parameters because God is infinite, um, of God. You know what I'm saying? Everything is within God, you know? And everything being within God, the only thing that it can be is godly or ungodly. There is no addition to God. You don't add a dis outside of God and say, well, that is the woman or the female principle or female factor. No, she's within the parameters of God. She doesn't have her own little corner out and say, this is yours, God, this, this is yours. No, that, that, that is a figment of the imagination. And for somebody to advocate something like that, then they lack a basic understanding of what God really is, you know, and then take it a little further, like I said, you get into a relationship, and for some of y'all sitting there, that's saying, yo, yo, I don't care, you know what I'm saying, she could, you know, because she really is a goddess, and you know, she could call herself a goddess, blah, 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 if you're in a relationship like that, what you're essentially saying, in a functional sense, you're sitting there just looking at it like, yo, it's just a word, you know what I'm saying, just go, in a functional sense. What the hell does she need you for? She's a goddess, which means she's everything you are, plus a little extra of what you're not. That's why you needed a goddess in the first damn place, because obviously you're not complete. Obviously you're not adequate enough, so you had to grab something from out of yourself and call it a goddess or make it in, in addition to what you're not. God, there is no additions to God. God is complete. God represents all things. And that's all that I'm simply saying. I'm not being chauvinistic. I'm not being gender oppressive. I'm not being any of those things. I'm just saying that as a concept, there is nothing outside of the parameters of God. There's nothing in addition to God. And for you to sit there and say there's a goddess and all this other shit, you are contradicting or being a hypocrite to what you're sitting there saying God really is. I mean, if you, I mean, but on another level, now if you're not saying that God is omnipotent and omniscient and omnipresent, if you're not saying that God is all of those things, then, you know, I could see, you know, what disagreements some of y'all could have with what I'm saying. But you cannot sit there and say that God represents all these things on one hand and then say that, well, we got to make a goddess too. And then say that you need to make some additional to what's everything. That is completely now cipher. That don't exist at all. It's like saying, like I said in the first video, saying a circle is 360 degrees and then saying you need to add more degrees onto the circle. That's just mathematically impossible. And that's what some of y'all sitting there doing. You think that you just, oh, it's just a word, you know, just goddess. You know what I'm saying? But by you using that word, what you're doing is grafting from original. And you're making an idea that has no functional reality. Not in this world and definitely not in no damn relationship. Because like I said, if you're sitting there pumping a woman with this, yo, you're a goddess, you're a goddess, eventually she's not going to need you because she is everything that you are and more. So she doesn't need you. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's nothing to do with being gender oppressive or, or being, you know, insecure about independent women, you know, and, uh, you know, strong women. And uh, No, I'm just simply saying that whole idea is bullshit, and I'm not going to teach or advocate no bullshit because even on a practical level, what the hell is a goddess supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? And those of y'all that sit there and try to say, yo, an ancient Kemet, you know what I'm saying? We talk God and goddesses. No, goddess is a misnomer that was grafted away from our original ancestors by these so-called Egyptologists, another misnomer, that mistranslated the Netters or Netaru, which was Tahuti and Aset and Asa and all these other different um, principalities. And they came up with the idea of goddesses 
in addition to gods and all this other stuff. And y'all sitting there riding off they shit, you know, and who really brought it into fruition is the Greeks. They the ones that had the pantheon of talking about gods and goddesses, but that wasn't nothing that we taught. We taught about the Netters and the Netteru in ancient Kemet, you know, so it wasn't no gods and goddesses. Because we understood the basic concepts that I'm sitting here explaining. It's very, very simple. Very simple. If something is all, there's nothing additional to all. Simple. Very, very simple. 